Lin Tang's words made Lin Moyu dumbfounded. Without waiting for Lin Moyu to speak, Lin Tang continued, Don't rush to refuse. This old man has two great granddaughters who are beautiful and talented. As he spoke, he pointed his finger, and a picture appeared in front of Lin Moyu's eyes. The picture formed by the interweaving of the power of laws depicts the appearance of two women. Lin Tang said, the two great granddaughters of the old man are not bad. If you agree, the old man will be the master, and the two sisters will marry you together. Looking at the two sisters in the painting, Lin Moyu was even more dumbfounded. The two happened to be the two sisters Lin Xiaoyu and Lin Xiaoyu. Lin Moyu had no choice but to say, thank you senior for your kindness, but I already have four wives, and I never thought about marrying again. Lin Tang said casually, there are only four, isn't it too wasteful to have only four wives with such a talent? You should marry more and spread the branches and leaves for my human race. You have to know that in the most difficult period for our human race, the population was less than three hundredths of the current population. Lin Tang said a lot about the history of the human race. Basically, the human race was almost dead back then. In order to maintain the human race, some strong men with excellent talents married a lot of women and lived and lived. The talents of the previous generation will affect the next generation. Therefore, with the unremitting efforts of these strong men, the human race gave birth to batch after batch of strong men. These strong men have also become alternative heroes. Lin Tang patted the table, you only married four, no, no, too few, you should marry at least ten. Lin Moyu never imagined that this deity wanted to put a woman on him. Senior, it's really not good. Lin Moyu refused on the spot, very simply. Lin Tang didn't give up, he waved his hand, don't rush to refuse, think again. Senior, why don't we change the subject? We haven't finished talking about this matter, so why not? Really, we can talk about something else. Lin Moyu himself didn't know how to leave Lin Tang Mansion. Anyway, in the end, he didn't agree. Although the two sisters, Lin Xiaoyu and Lin Xiaoyu, are indeed beautiful, each with its own characteristics. But he is not a lecherous person. The four wives are still sleeping in the coffin, how could they marry another? Lin Moyu really couldn't stand Lin Tang, he found that when this kind of old man became shameless, his skin was thicker than the dragon scales of Antares. I don't know what happened to Antares Tilda. Quote, After coming to the big world, he completely lost contact with Antares. Now that I think about it, I'm really not used to it. If you have any questions before, you can ask Antares for advice. Now only one person is groping. Intermediate galaxies are much more prosperous than lower galaxies. Above the head, there are a lot of cultivators at the level of true gods coming and going. Occasionally, you can also see a strong man at the level of a god-king. However, the most numerous are super-god-level practitioners. As super-god-level cultivators who have just left the category of ordinary people, they will always be the most numerous group, and they will be produced almost all the time. In the distance, Lin Moyu saw a team. Hundreds of first-level and second-level super-gods are lining up, and the end of the line is the registration center. Each of them is accompanied by a guide. Lin Moyu thought that he was the same way back then, queuing up to register. I don't know what happened to senior sister Ji Yu. Lin Moyu thought of Ji Yu Qingxin. When I first entered the big world, Ji Yu Qingxin taught me a lot. Just as he was thinking, a familiar voice suddenly entered his ears. Junior brother Lin. A smile appeared on the corner of Lin Moyu's mouth. As soon as he thought of Ji Yu Qingxin, the deity appeared. After hearing the reputation, he saw Ji Yu Qingxin descending from the sky. With a smile in his eyes, Lin Moyu cupped his hands to congratulate Ji Yu Qingxin, congratulations, senior sister Ji Yu, for being promoted to a true god. Ji Yu Qingxin has already reached the first level of true god, but her aura is obviously not very stable not long after she was promoted. Obviously Ji Yu Qingxin was in a good mood, it's just a small promotion, why did junior brother Lin come here? Lin Moyu said, accepted a mission, I happened to be here, and by the way, I came to see what the medium-sized galaxy is like. 
It was only then that Ji Yu Qingxin discovered that Lin Moyu had reached the third level of Super God, and his authority had also been raised to the third level. She covered her small mouth in shock, her beautiful eyes widened, how could it be so fast? Lin Moyu's speed is too fast, he has done everything he can, and Lin Moyu has been in the big world for less than two months. It took two months to change from the first level of Super God to the third level of Super God, and the authority was directly upgraded to the third level. From the second level to the third level, although only 10,000 points are required, the points rewarded for each task is only 50,100. It is impossible for Lin Moyu to complete many tasks every day. What kind of speed up is this? It has exceeded Ji Yu Qingxian's imagination. Ji Yu Qingxian stared wide-eyed, waiting for Lin Moyu's answer. Lin Moyu smiled and said, I'm just opportunistic. Ji Yu Qingxian hurriedly asked, back quote, what kind of opportunistic method, tell me. Her eyes glowed with the luster of seeking knowledge, Lin Moyu said, I did the task of the emperor's challenge, and challenged the task continuously. Ji Yu Qingxian snorted, you mean you have a winning streak? She has done this task before and knows the rules. The first match was against an opponent who was at the same level as him. After that, every time he won a match, the rewards would increase exponentially, but the strength of the opponent would also increase time after time. Lin Moyu nodded, well, a few wins. How many games? Six games, none of which were won. Failed? Not defeated, but not won, so it's a tie. Ji Yu Qingxian counted on her fingers, 100 for one game, 200 for the second game, 400 for the third game. Hey, it's 6,300 points in total, no wonder you rose so fast. How did you fight? The ability to leapfrog challenges is too scary. The people who come out of your small world are not so scary. Lin Moyu said softly, I'm just lucky. Okay, okay, let's stop this question. Anyway, since you entered the Temple of War God, everything is abnormal. Ji Yu Qingxian didn't want to ask any more questions, and continued to ask. To be hit is to be yourself again. My years of hard work seem to be so casual and easy in Lin Moyu's eyes. Ji Yu Qingxian changed the subject. You have a third level authority, and the serial appointment has begun. Lin Moyu nodded, it's already started, there are 10 tasks to do first, the first of which has been completed, and I'm about to hand in the second task. Let's go together, I'm going to hand in the task too. Ji Yu Qingxian said generously. The two walked towards the mission center together, their steps seemed slow but fast, Ji Yu Qingxian took care of Lin Moyu's strength and maintained a speed comparable to Lin Moyu's. Coming to the ancient and vicissitudes of the mission center again, Lin Moyu feels the simplicity, welcomes the rich history, and steps into it. In the mission center, there is room for formation expansion. Tens of thousands of mission platforms are erected among them, most of which have people in front of them. Many people are choosing tasks, choosing whether the task is good or bad is related to the difficulty and reward. Every time you perform a task, you must choose it carefully. Before the task is accepted, there is only a general description, and there will be no detailed information. Moreover, there are many mission information that are not allowed to be disclosed, if disclosed, they will be punished. In other words, there is no strategy to find for most of the tasks, you can only explore by yourself. Under the strict monitoring of Renwang Network, no one can cheat. Lin Moyu knows that the intention of the high-level human race is to cultivate the ability of individuals to solve problems. If there are strategies and skills, then the cultivated people will only advance in the footsteps of their predecessors. In this way, it will never be possible to surpass the predecessors, let alone reach new heights. It was obviously not the first time for Ji Yu Qingxian to come here, so she went straight to the artificial counter in the center. There was a long line in front of the manual counter, and there were too many people handing in tasks. Ji Yu Qingxian and Lin Moyu also joined the queue. Ji Yu Qingxian sighed, this is the bad thing about a medium-sized planet. There are too many people. Every time I hand in a task, I have to queue for a long time. Lin Moyu looked at the queue in front of him and calculated that it would take about 10 minutes, not too long. 
If you come, you will be safe. 750 people on a medium-sized planet are indeed a lot. It's no wonder that true gods are rarely seen on lower planets, and they all gather here. Lin Moyu asked, Have you ever been to a higher galaxy? Ji Yu Qingxin nodded, I went there once with Master. What kind of scene is it? What kind of situation? Ji Yu Qingxin thought for a while, true gods are walking everywhere, and super gods are not as good as dogs. Anyway, at a glance, there are many god kings and a lot of true gods. At that time, I was only the sixth level of super god, and I didn't even dare to take a breath. The coercion of the god king is too uncomfortable. At that time, I thought, if I don't come to the god king, I will never go to a higher galaxy. Apparently she has a grudge against the higher galaxies. Lin Moyu was a little surprised. She didn't expect Ji Yu Qingxin, who looked cold, to have such a side. Ji Yu Qingxin said, by the way, what mission did you do? The enchanting secret realm, the task of finding Hui Shi. Lin Moyu didn't hide it, he told the truth. Ji Yu Qingxin let out a low cry, why did you accept this task? This task is too time consuming and difficult to do. Many people who took this task could not complete it and were punished. Although the punishment is not heavy, it will affect the performance of the chain mission, and the gain outweighs the loss. Lin Moyu smiled, I didn't know this task was so difficult, but luckily I completed it. The enchanting secret realm mission is really difficult for others, and half of the time can be wasted just looking for the secret realm. But for him, it's really simple. Ji Yu Qingxin said, it's good that it's done. In the future, you should be careful when accepting tasks. Not all tasks can be accepted. You must distinguish carefully. It's okay at the third level authority. The tasks are not too many, and they are not too difficult. At the fourth level of authority, there will be a lot of tasks, and the difficulty will be greatly increased. At that time, you have to be more cautious. If the task fails, it will affect the score. The score is low, and it will be difficult to enter the city of God. Look at those people who are choosing tasks. Each of them can choose for a long time, and they are very cautious. Ji Yu Qingxin is like a good teacher, teaching Lin Moyu tirelessly. Lin Moyu smiled, thank you for reminding me. Ji Yu Qingxin obviously didn't say enough, Master said, in fact, there is an element of luck in accepting missions. Each mission is different for everyone, some are suitable or not. As long as you are lucky enough, you can receive good assignments blindly with your eyes closed. But obviously your luck is not very good, otherwise you wouldn't have received the quest of the enchanted secret realm. It is the first time Lin Moyu has heard of the saying that there is still luck in receiving tasks. Seeing that Lin Moyu didn't believe it, Ji Yu Qingxin said solemnly, don't believe it, there really is such a saying. Master said that when you reach the realm of gods, you will understand how important luck is. Lin Moyu nodded, I think my luck has always been good. I hope so. The room between the two of them has already arrived. Ji Yu Qingxin took out a few true god level instruments, successfully handed in the task, and let out a long sigh of relief, it's finally finished. Fortunately, I got an excellent grade for this task, and it won't affect the overall evaluation. Lin Moyu smiled slightly, Ji Yu Qingxin's goal is to enter the city of God, and the evaluation of the task is very important to her. In fact, it is true for everyone. For cultivators of the human race, as long as they have ambitions, their goal is to enter the city of God. Whether you can enter the city of God smoothly depends on the comprehensive evaluation given by Renwang Network. The comprehensive evaluation is very complicated, including usual performance, combat power, potential, ability to solve problems, task execution and so on. Among them, task execution is a very important one. Ji Yu Qingxin gave up her seat, it's your turn. Lin Moyu walked to the counter, a medium planet, and the staff at the counter was no longer an ordinary person, but a super god. He was slightly surprised to see that Lin Moyu only had the third level of super god and had a third level of authority. There was also a hint of playfulness in his eyes, and he was polite on the surface. May I ask what task you want to hand in? Lin Moyu said, third level mission. Go to the enchanted secret realm and look for gray stones. 
The staff quickly found the corresponding task for Lin Moyu. The corresponding task has been found for you. Please hand in a gray stone. Lin Moyu said, this task can turn in more gray stones to increase the reward. The staff member nodded, it is indeed possible. How many acres do you want to hand over? That being said, there was a slight change in his tone. Apparently he didn't believe that Lin Moyu could turn in many gray stones. For the Enchantment Secret Realm mission, if you can turn in a piece of greystone to complete the mission, it is already very remarkable. Many pieces of greystone, few people get. What's more, Lin Moyu is only a third level super god, which is even more impossible. Lin Moyu directly took out the greystone he got. A total of nine greystones are placed on the counter, and one of them is particularly large, which can be regarded as a fine product among the greystones. The staff was stunned, and Ji Yu Qingxin was also stunned. Nine gray stones, never seen before. Ji Yu Qingxin swallowed her saliva. I remember Master said that there are nine levels in the enchanting secret realm. Have you cleared them all? Lin Moyu nodded. Well, it's all done. You are such a monster. Ji Yu Qingxin was speechless. In her memory, since the appearance of the enchanted secret realm, no one has passed through it. There are quite a few people who completed the task, and some even got two or three gray stones. But I have never heard of all the connections. The staff stood there stunned, too shocked to speak. Lin Moyu asked, is there any question? The staff finally came back to their senses and kept saying that there was no problem. He began to verify according to the procedure. There is a formation in the mission center, which is connected to the Renwang network. The light of the formation sprinkled on the gray stone, and the verification was quickly completed. Then, the worker receives a reminder that the task has been completed. However, he couldn't see the specific content of the reward. This is Lin Moyu's personal privacy, and only Lin Moyu knows it. The moment the task was completed, Lin Moyu received a message from Renwang Network. Congratulations, you have become the first person to complete 100% of the Enchantment Secret Realm mission, and you will receive additional rewards on top of regular mission rewards. The original mission reward was 1500 points, and every additional gray stone added an additional 2000 points, and a total of 17,500 mission rewards were obtained. Get a high quality gray stone, and get 500 special rewards. The first 100% mission completer will be rewarded with an additional 100 days of Human Emperor training field. Note, grades are ignored. After seeing the reward, Lin Moyu froze for a moment. His eyes were slightly excited. The reward was too rich and exceeded his expectations. Ji Yu Qingxin asked repeatedly, Tell me quickly, what reward is there? Let's talk about it elsewhere. Good. Lin Moyu and Ji Yu Qingxin left the mission center and found a deserted place. The reward for the mission is 22,500 points. A total of 22,500 reward points is completely astronomical for level 3 tasks. It is worth more than a dozen third level tasks. Lin Moyu checked his points, 53,753. The 100,000 points required for the 4th level authority has exceeded one-third. If you do this kind of mission a few more times, you will be able to upgrade to level 4 authority. But Lin Moyu knew that that was not advisable. The tasks corresponding to the 4th level authority are at least the tasks starting from the true god level. With his strength, the task of true god level cannot be completed at all. And having had the experience of Starlight Fog Spirit last time, Lin Moyu didn't think he wanted to lose his strength. Ji Yu Qingxin enviously said, I do three level missions, and each mission will cost me 2,000 points. One of your missions is worth more than a dozen of my missions. She seemed to have been wronged a hundred thousand times, and her face was full of depression. Lin Moyu couldn't help hitting Ji Yu Qingxin again, I'm the first person to achieve 100% in the Enchanting Secret Realm mission, so there is an extra reward. Ji Yu Qingxin said again, covering her small mouth, this mission has not been completed 100%? Lin Moyu nodded, it seems so, Renwang Network should not be wrong. Of course there is nothing wrong, Renwang Network has never missed it. 
I was just surprised that no one has completed this task 100%. It seems that among the third level tasks, the task in the enchanting secret realm is really difficult. In Ji Yu Qingxian's narration, Lin Moyu understands that some tasks are distinguished by degree of completion. It is not easy to achieve 100% completion, but if it is achieved, the rewards are very considerable. All those who have a certain self-esteem ability will specifically select those tasks that have a degree of completion, hoping to achieve 100% completion. It's a pity that the tasks are very fair, each task can only be done once, and there is only one chance. After so many years, some of the third level tasks have not been able to achieve 100% completion. Lin Moyu couldn't help but think about whether he should do these tasks specifically. Ji Yu Qingxian asked, what are the extra rewards? I have only heard of very Feng Sha. You can practice for 100 days in the Renwang training ground. Lin Moyu said the reward. Ji Yu Qingxian's expectant face immediately turned a little disappointed. It's only 100 days, so it's nothing. Lin Moyu added, it says this reward ignores rank. Ah! Ji Yu Qingxian exclaimed again. She felt that she had never lost her composure in her life like today. It seems that since I met Lin Moyu, the number of gaffes has risen sharply. Ji Yu Qingxian swallowed her saliva, envious. This reward of yours must be used in the God King realm, please remember. Why? Lin Moyu was a little puzzled. Ji Yu Qingxian explained, because the Renwang training ground charges different people for each realm. The super god realm is 1000 points a day, the true god realm is 10,000 points a day, and the god king realm is 100,000 points a day. Your 100 days, to use it in the realm of the god king, is equivalent to 10 million points. Lin Moyu understands, no wonder it should be marked to ignore the grade. There is a huge difference between using now and using in the future. But, why don't you use it in the realm of gods? Ji Yu Qingxian snorted, nonsense, God Venerable has already increased the control of the law to 100%, so there is no need to go to the human emperor's training ground. Zero. Ask for flowers. The God Venerable is going to the training ground in the central God city. When saying this, Ji Yu Qingxian revealed a deep yearning. Central God city is her pursuit, dream, and ultimate goal. Lin Moyu said, thank you, I see. Although Ji Yu Qingxian was hit hard, she was also happy for Lin Moyu in her heart. She knew very well that the better Lin Moyu performed, the more benefits she would get. Her serial mission is not over yet, and when the mission is over, it will be calculated comprehensively. During this period, Lin Moyu's performance is also above the assessment indicators of the task. Who let her be Lin Moyu's guide, it's not just a simple guide, it will continue to have an impact. With envy and jealousy, Ji Yu Qingxian pulled Lin Moyu back to the mission center again. Come on, let's pick up the mission and see what mission you can receive this time. The two returned to the mission center and each found the mission table. Ji Yu Qingxian is looking for a task that suits her. She has just been promoted to true god, and her authority is still at the third level. According to her, with a few more missions, she can be promoted to level 4 authority. But Ji Yu Qingxian didn't want to do that. She wanted to raise her cultivation level to the third level of true god and then to the fourth level. Otherwise, many tasks in the fourth level authority cannot be done, and problems will occur. In fact, when she said this, she was also telling Lin Moyu. Escalating privileges too quickly is not a good thing. Cultivation needs to keep up, and more understanding of this big world is also needed. This is the purpose of the human sovereign mission system. Now Lin Moyu's understanding of the big world is too shallow. There are a lot of things I don't understand, and I still need a lot of experience. Lin Moyu understood this truth and fully accepted Ji Yu Qing's opinion. Look through the tasks and find the ones that suit you. After browsing for a long time, Lin Moyu found a task. Open black lens bracket explore strange stars and find the source of change. Time limit of 10 days, reward 1000 points, no penalty for failure. Without punishment, it would not be included in the comprehensive evaluation. But if it is completed, there will be rewards, which can also be included in the chain task. 
it is conceivable that there should be a lot of people who take on such a mission with no harm at all. Lin Moyu asked Ji Yu Qingxin before accepting the task, and the answer he got was the same as what he thought. Dot. Lin Moyu came out of the teleportation array, and the first thing he saw was Suzaku 133 Life Galaxy. The strange star referred to in the mission is near this galaxy. After these missions, Lin Moyu has somewhat understood the naming rules of the Terran world. The Suzaku in the name of the galaxy represents the Suzaku galaxy, and if there are several such as Ooo in the back, it represents a non-living galaxy where no humans live. And those that don't use 000 to take the lead, but directly mark a specific number, are the life galaxies inhabited by the human race. For example, the Suzaku 133 galaxy in front of you is a living galaxy inhabited by humans, while the previous Suzaku Galaxy 128 is a non-life star without human inhabitants. In this way, there is no need for complicated naming, and it is clear at a glance, which is very convenient. The human race re-emerged after that catastrophe, using this method, 077. According to the information, before the catastrophe, the human race gave each star an independent name. It's just that those names are too complicated to remember, so they simply use numbers to name them later. Only the names of the four star fields are kept. Suzaku, Xuanwu, Qinglong, Baihu, the four star fields are said to be the four great beasts raised by the human race, and they made great military exploits during the catastrophe. In the Chinese world in the previous life, Lin Moyu also heard the names of the four great beasts, which were myths and legends. Lin Moyu guessed that the Chinese world in his previous life was just a small world. Some things about the big world have somehow spread into the small world, forming various myths and legends, and even becoming cultural texts. Sitting in the Zushan fortress, watching the starry sky outside gradually changed. Lin Moyu checked the mission details again. Third level mission. Explore strange stars and find the source of change. Located near the Suzaku 133 galaxy, there is a strange star that is gray and white. In the gray area, there is no life, and in the white area, everything is alive. Explore the root of this star change and report it to Renwang Network. Restrictions. Do not cause damage to the stars. Conditions for completion. Time limit of 10 days. Mission base reward of 1000 points. No penalty for failure. If the root cause can be found, different rewards will be given according to the degree of discovery. Note, the gray part contains power similar to the law of death, please be careful. Lin Moyu was shocked when he saw the detailed information of the task. According to the mission description, it is too similar to his undead law. Gray and white are two colors, gray represents death, and white represents vitality. The two forces are opposed to each other but they are also intertwined and interdependent. There is me and you, and you and me, which is magical. There is no law of immortality in Ren Wang's network, and they even recognized my law of immortality as the law of death and the law of life. It shows that the law of immortality has never appeared in the human race. The law of immortality really exists, but the human race has not discovered it, maybe it exists in a special race. Lin Moyu thought in his heart, and a strange star appeared in his sight. The stars are half gray and half white, divided evenly along the midline. The two colors occupy a very balanced balance, neither too much nor too little. Lin Moyu saw that there were many practitioners in the starry sky and above the stars. There are 8th and ninth ranks of super gods, and there are also 1st and 2nd ranks of true gods. As he thought, there is no punishment for this mission, only rewards. Although everyone can only pick it up once, and there are only 10 days, it will still attract many people. Many people are discussing, expressing their various guesses, looking for various possibilities. Many people entered the stars, felt it for themselves, and searched for the root cause. Lin Moyu looked over from afar, and was stunned on the spot. The Law of Immortality he could tell at a glance that the star's gray and white colors were his own law of immortality. The whole star is like the law star in the law sea of the human emperor's practice field. 
Although it does not exude the breath of law, it exudes corresponding power. Lin Moyu knew that he could not be mistaken. He was too familiar with the law of immortality. It could be said that it was his own life law, so how could he be wrong? The stars are not big, with a diameter of less than a thousand kilometers. In the starry sky of the big world, they are considered inconspicuous little guys. But it's there so strangely, so eye-catching, it grabs everyone's attention. The arrival of Lin Moyu has attracted some people's attention. Seeing that Lin Moyu is only a third-level super god and has a third-level authority, many people's eyes flashed with disdain. Unless you are a super genius, or you are a big fool. Most people are more willing to believe that Lin Moyu is a big fool, rather than some super genius. The third level tasks that can be done by the third level super god. There are very few. If you don't improve your cultivation, you still accept tasks to do it. I really don't know what to do. Young people nowadays are lacking in certainty and aiming too high. Maybe he's a super genius. HMPH, how come there are so many super geniuses, but then again, there are not many big fools now. It's true that there are not many, but there will still be. Lin Moyu didn't bother to explain what everyone said. In his eyes, these people are models of ignorance. It is impossible for me to explain these ignorant people, so it is too ridiculous to tell them that I am a super genius. Lin Moyu looked at the starry sky for a while, then flew down to the stars, standing on the middle line of gray and white. The left hand dies, the right hand lives. Lin Moyu can clearly feel these two opposite forces. Very familiar, it is undoubtedly the law of immortality. It's just that the power on the stars is too weak, and it seems that it is not at the level of the law of birth. The gray area of death is filled with the power of death, which will corrode all substances in the area. In this area, not a single blade of grass grows, and even some rocks have been corroded. There are no other colors except gray. There are many true god-level cultivators here, and they rely on their own powerful strength to form a shield to resist the erosion of death. But they can't stay there for a long time, at most one and a half days, they will leave. In the lifeless world, no one can bear it after a long time. Compared with the gray area full of death, the white area full of life has more people. There is vitality in the white area, which can make people feel the hope of life. It is very comfortable to stand in it, and even addicted to it. Lin Moyu stood between the two colors, and in his hands, there was also a gray and white aura surging. When he came here, he felt a sense of intimacy, as if he had returned home. An invisible wind blew over, and his ears moved, as if he heard some strange sounds. It seemed as if there was a voice calling to him in the dark. Lin Moyu wasn't sure if he was hallucinating. After careful induction, Lin Moyu entered the gray area without looking back. Gray areas, areas full of death. For others, it is not a good place. But for Lin Moyu, it's like going home, even with a sense of intimacy. The star wind that blows over is always faintly calling, calling Lin Moyu to go. Following the guidance of the wind, Lin Moyu looked for that point of life in death. If it is the law of immortality, if one's induction is correct, then there must still be a little breath of life in the world of death. It's just that the breath of life is very, very weak, almost inaudible or invisible. If it weren't for the law of immortality, even if Lin Moyu already had a fourth grade soul, it would be difficult to sense it. After searching for a long time, I finally found that bit of life in death. From the surface, it is not obvious at all. Even with soul sensing, it is impossible to feel any difference. It is a point the size of a finger, a protrusion less than one millimeter, and it is here that it contains extremely weak vitality. No matter how strong the dead air around him is, it is difficult to completely wipe out this vitality. Things must be reversed in extremes, which seems to be the truth. Lin Moyu felt it, it seemed that he had a clear understanding. This bit of vitality is much rarer than the law of undead that he manipulates. Such a performance made Lin Moyu feel a lot. Could it be that the deep meaning of the law of immortality is to suppress the life and death to the extreme, and the death and life is the same? Why? Under the ultimate suppression, it explodes brilliantly.
If this is the case, then in the region of life, there should also be death. Lin Moyu thought of this, and immediately rushed towards the raw area. Someone is watching Lin Moyu in the starry sky. Whoever makes him a third level super god has a third level authority, because it is too eye catching. When seeing Lin Moyu leave the death area and go to the vitality area, he couldn't help laughing, I can't hold on in such a short time, it's really bad. It doesn't look like a super genius, just a stunned young man who doesn't understand anything. Some people also gave up continuing to pay attention to Lin Moyu. In their eyes, Lin Moyu fled because he couldn't bear the threat of the death zone. They have no idea what Lin Moyu is doing. Lin Moyu enters the white area full of vitality. In this world full of vitality, the island finds almost non-existent work points to die. The call brought by the star wind still exists, as if it has not stopped all year round. From the beginning to the end, Lin Moyu felt kind. After coming here, Lin Moyu feels like coming home. The feeling is very strange, false and real, even Lin Moyu himself can hardly tell the real from the fake. Finally, he found a white area faintly dying. It's also a slightly protruding dot, a dot smaller than a finger, very, very inconspicuous. It's not such a small spot, which contains a little breath of death. In life there is death, in death there is life. At this moment, Lin Moyu was extremely sure that among the strange stars was indeed the power of the law of immortality. It's just that for some reason, the law of immortality didn't show up. In the starry sky, it turned into a strange black and white star with a diameter of more than a thousand kilometers. When he found the point of life and death, Lin Moyu already knew what he should do. Cause death and death, death and life. In the extreme oppression, make them completely burst out. Lin Moyu returned to the center line and picked a position. This position is exactly in the middle of the two points of life and death. Two balls of law were thrown, the law full of vitality entered the death zone, and the law full of death entered the vitality zone. Two groups of diametrically opposite laws fall on the two points of life and death at the same time. Boom! The entire strange star was suddenly detonated, and it burst into brilliant light. Except for Lin Moyu, all the people on the stars were expelled, and no one could stay. Even people outside the stars are pushed away by a huge force. Strange stars shine brightly in the starry sky, with a radius of 100,000 miles, no one can approach them. Only Lin Moyu, standing among the stars, closed his eyes to feel the changes of the stars. The areas of life and death are being swapped. The vitality in the gray dead area is getting stronger and stronger, and the death in the white vitality area is also getting more and more violent. After both were suppressed to the limit, they exploded. With overwhelming momentum, it suppressed the original attributes. Polar reversal. Life and death swap. Yin and yang fusion. Control life and death, do whatever you want. A large number of insights arise in the heart, come one after another, and permeate the soul world. In the soul world, the galaxy of laws suddenly appeared. The galaxies of laws sprinkled with brilliance bringing countless profound truths, reverberating and dancing in the soul world. Lin Moyu's comprehension of the law of immortality continues to improve. 4%, 5%, 6%. In less than a day, the comprehension of the law of immortality has increased to 6%. The level of the soul also rose accordingly, and quickly rose to the level of the sixth level of the super god. The giant tree of talent shook violently, and a large number of willow branches stretched out, entangled around Lin Moyu's soul. During this period of time, the soul power it has accumulated is spit out with all its strength at this moment. These soul powers have been double tempered by the talent giant tree and the nine colored dragon soul crystal, so they are extremely pure. Lin Moyu's soul power is also constantly improving. After Super God, the improvement of soul level and soul power is the improvement of strength and level. His strength has been raised to the sixth level of Super God at this moment. With one realization, his mastery of the law of immortality increased from 3% to 6%. The strength has been raised from the third level of Super God to the sixth level of Super God. Boom! Above Lin Moyu's head, a huge star rose up. 
the stars are gray and white, exactly the same as the strange stars under their feet. The gray area also exudes a strong breath of death, while the white area is full of vitality. Only Lin Moyu knows that in the gray area, there is also vitality. The white area also contains death. In life there is death, in death there is life. Lin Moyu opened his eyes and saw the vision of gray and white stars above him. Law Field. I finally have a domain of laws. This is his domain of law, the domain of law known as the strongest method of super gods. Among the super gods, there is no one in a million that can form a law field. It is impossible for the vast majority of super gods to cultivate wine in the field of law. The field of laws is very powerful, but it is too difficult to cultivate. Many people will not deliberately pursue it. They are more willing to pursue the soul manifestation of the realm of the true God. They all know that soul manifestation is stronger than the field of law. It is completely possible to skip the comprehension of the laws of super gods and directly practice more powerful means. But many people don't know that the realm of soul law in the realm of the God King will be incomplete without the foundation of the law realm at the super god level. The realm of law of the super god is the foundation and the soul will manifest later, and the realm of soul law is based on the address, and it is a strategic place. If the foundation is not strong, tall buildings are also prone to collapse. Lin Moyu is very happy that he can cultivate the domain of law. As far as he knows, as long as he cultivates the domain of laws, it is enough to prove that he is a genius among super gods. Although he didn't know what to prove for a long time, if he couldn't cultivate the field of law, he would be a little disappointed and even affect the future. That day when he retreated in front of the law field of the giant starry sky tree, he will never forget it. At that time, he thought that one day, he would also cultivate out of the realm of law. The field of law above the head and the gray and white stars under the feet complement each other, presenting a rare grand occasion. The domain of laws covers a radius of one kilometer, and within this range, Lin Moyu can freely display his own law of immortality. At the same time, the undead army can also enjoy more law bonuses, and their combat power is greatly improved. My own strength has been raised from the third level of super god to the sixth level, and the power of the undead army and various spells has been greatly improved. If the domain of law is added, Lin Moyu feels that he can already compete with the true god. As for how many levels it can compare with Shenzhen, it needs to be tested in actual combat to know. But Lin Moyu is confident that the ordinary first order true god should not be his opponent. This is confidence in one's own spells and the law of immortality. Unless the first order true god has the means to manifest the soul, then he may not be an opponent. However, there are not many true gods who can cultivate soul manifestations, and most of them are fake soul manifestations like bloodthirsty bees. Lin Moyu has no fear of this. The real soul manifestation needs to be integrated into the law, which is extremely difficult to cultivate. It is even more difficult than the field of law. In addition to your own efforts, it also depends on opportunities. Just like Lin Moyu this time, the opportunity came. It was Qi Kixing who gave him this opportunity. The bipolar reversal of the strange stars is over, life turns into death, and death turns into sex. However, the pattern of accumulating death in life and nurturing life in death has not changed. In the eyes of outsiders, the strange stars seem to be turned left and right. When the pole reversal was completely completed, a picture suddenly appeared in Lin Moyu's mind. A stream of information was transmitted directly into Lin Moyu's soul world. The magnificent star map slowly unfolded in the soul world, and the soul opened its eyes and saw the star map. This is the star map of the big world tilde. Quote, when Lin Moyu was looking at the information, he had seen the approximate star map of the great world. In the public information of the human race, the star map is only a small part of the entire big world, and the world of the human race is the main one. The star map unfolded in front of him is far more complete than the data. It can almost be said to cover the entire big world. Lin Moyu found the area occupied by humans. 
The human race occupying the five vast starfields is less than one ten thousandth of the star map of the entire big world. The sphere of influence of the human race is very large, but if the scale is put on the whole big world, the sphere of influence of the human race is so insignificant. The big world is too big to imagine. There is a saying among the human race that even if a deity spends his whole life, it is impossible to travel the entire world. After the star map was fully displayed, many bright spots of light appeared on the star map. These light spots are much brighter than other stars, especially one of them is very bright. A particularly bright spot of light is located in the human race area. Lin Moyu recognized at a glance that this spot of light represented the strange star where he was. This is where I am. So, the other points of light are all strange stars? If I can find other strange stars, will my strength be able to improve rapidly? Lin Moyu was startled, and immediately checked it carefully. In the area of the human race, there are three strange stars. Two of them are located in the Xuanwu starfield and the White Tiger starfield. The other one is located in the center of the human territory. Lin Moyu murmured, Central God City. It seems that I must go to the Central God City. Lin Moyu immediately memorized the positions of all the other light spots, which were scattered all over the world and extremely far apart. These estimates are estimated to take tens of millions of light years, and with his current strength, he may not be able to make it in a lifetime. And Lin Moyu also knew that these places were most likely to be the territory of other strong races. If you want to go to the past, you also need a strong strength. It seems that it must become stronger. Whether they are strange stars or not, you must take a look. Lin Moyu firmly believes that for various reasons, he must become stronger. After Lin Moyu recorded the location, the star map gradually dissipated in the soul world, as if it had never appeared before. The brilliance of the strange stars also gradually disappeared, returning to their original appearance. At this time, Lin Moyu has put away the law field and flew away from the strange stars. The person who was pushed away just now returned and saw Lin Moyu at first sight. Why wasn't he pushed away? Is it because of Qi Xingqin's reaction just now? No, I remember that he was at the third level of super god just now. Why did he suddenly become the sixth level of super god? Could it be that he is hiding his strength? Hiding a fart on the human emperor network, who can hide his strength? He must have gained some benefits on the strange stars, so he raised his level. Quickly, go over and ask if he found anything. A group of people flew over and surrounded Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu frowned slightly. Shaw? Lin Moyu, right? We just want to ask, what exactly did you find on the strange star, and why the level has risen three levels in a row? The person who spoke first was Tang Fei, a cultivator of the ninth level of the super god. His tone was not very polite, and it could even be said to be a little rude. After Lin Moyu entered the big world, most people were polite and polite. Tang Fei belongs to the very impolite kind of person. Since someone asked, the others didn't speak, but waited, looking at both sides like watching a play. Lin Moyu glanced at Tang Fei lightly, why should I tell you? Tang Fei was taken aback, and laughed, everyone is a human race and they are all senior brothers. As a senior brother, it's not too much for me to ask. Tang Fei's words were a bit forceful and unreasonable, but Ming showed that he was used to this. It is estimated that this kind of speech is not rarely used. Lin Moyu chuckled, if I don't tell you, what are you going to do, do it directly? Tang Fei laughed, how could it be possible to do it? The human race strictly forbids infighting, I dare not do it to you here. However, we can go to the emperor's arena to solve the problem. I just have a challenge card. Lin Moyu frowned. What is a challenge card? He has never heard of Tai. But when everyone heard that Tang Fei had a challenge card, their faces changed slightly. Those whose strength levels were not as good as Tang Fei's had expressions in their eyes. The appearance of Lin Moyu made Tang Fei laugh unscrupulously. So you don't even know the challenge card. It seems that you are really a stunned young man. Murderous intent flickered in Lin Moyu's eyes. He doesn't care about the comments behind other people's backs, 
But that doesn't mean he won't get angry. Tell him face to face, he will kill. Tang Fei smiled maliciously. Challenge cards are very difficult treasures. I guess you don't know what the challenge card is for, so let me explain it to you. The challenge card can initiate a challenge in the same realm, and the challenged cannot refuse. If the challenger wins, he can get half of the challenged person's points. Lin Moyu frowned slightly, not expecting such a thing. He immediately thought of several uses of challenge cards. If a person who has reached the peak of a certain realm takes a challenge card to forcibly challenge an opponent of the same realm, the probability of winning is quite high. Losing half of the points is not a small loss for everyone. Not long after I came to the big world, the points were gained too quickly, so I didn't pay too much attention to them. It doesn't mean that others don't value points. Most practitioners accumulate points little by little for each task, which is very precious. Of course, this kind of points that can be taken away will not affect the promotion of authority. Why does Renwang Network allow such things to exist? Lin Moyu saw the people around him, all showing vigilance and displeasure towards Tang Fei. Even some true god-level powerhouses are like this. Apparently, this stuff wasn't popular. It is conceivable that the number of challenge cards should be very small. If there are too many such things, it may destroy the unity of the entire human race. However, Lin Moyu, who was born in a small world, surpassed many practitioners who were born in a big world in terms of understanding of many things. He knows that on the basis of stability and unity, some competition is also needed within the human race. Without competition, the entire human race will lose its upward momentum, and the result of no motivation will eventually be destruction. Only by standing out from the competition is the real genius. But this kind of competition must maintain a kind of relative fairness. The base of the human race is too large, and it is extremely difficult to achieve true fairness. According to Lin Moyu's understanding, the higher the level, the more intense this competition will be. He didn't know if what he thought was right, whether the high-level people of the human race agreed with him. Seeing that Lin Moyu didn't speak, Tang Fei thought that Lin Moyu was scared, so he laughed and said, Brother doesn't want to embarrass you, as long as you can tell us something about the strange planet. Brother doesn't want to force you, I just hope you can speak out voluntarily. He earnestly induced him, hoping that Lin Moyu would take the bait. Lin Moyu thought about something, and let out a chuckle, according to the rules, if I take the initiative to reveal the information of the mission, I may be punished. If it doesn't work, this penalty is more than losing half of the points. If so, why should I say that? If the challenger loses, he loses half of the points. It is estimated that if the challenger loses, the loss will be even greater. I don't know if I am right. Lin Moyu's words made Tang Fei's face change slightly. The whispers of people around fell into Lin Moyu's ears, and Lin Moyu knew the various restrictions of the challenge card, and knew that he had hit the mark. The human race did impose various restrictions on challenge cards, and the restrictions were very severe. If the challenged person loses, only half of the points will be lost, and it will have no effect on others. But if the challenger loses, he will lose all the points. This alone is twice as much as the challenged person. This is not the heaviest punishment. The heaviest punishment is if the level of the challenger is higher than that of the challenge. Under the circumstances, the challenger is still defeated, and it will be extremely heavy. 10% of the points earned by the challenger in the next 100 years will automatically belong to the challenged person. 10% of the hard-earned points will be automatically given to others, just like people have been working for a hundred years. This punishment is really heavy. Lin Moyu knew that his guess was right. How could the human race let go of challenge cards, which destroy unity? One is to control the quantity, and the other is to carry out extremely strict restrictions. This time it was Tang Fei's turn to ride a tiger, and he really didn't dare to use it indiscriminately, after all, the punishment was too great. But thinking that Lin Moyu was only at the sixth level of super god, and he was three levels behind him, Tang Fei suddenly felt that he would definitely win. Lin Moyu joked, don't you dare? If you don't dare, get out of the way, don't be a CFG here. 
Good dogs don't get in the way. Even if you want to be a dog, be a good dog. Don't be a vicious dog. Why? Lin Moyers said it very bluntly. He really didn't pay attention to Tang Fei. Timid and want to threaten others. There is no such cheap thing in the world. Tang Fei was provoked by the word, blocking dog, and shouted angrily, How dare you scold me? Anger rose from the whole person, and he gritted his teeth fiercely, In that case, then I will challenge you, and it is a challenge in reality. I want to let you know the price of being stubborn. I'm just asking you, do you dare to accept it? Tang Fei's words caused an uproar again. He actually launched a challenge in reality, which is really a must. Challenges can also be divided into two types. One is to challenge in the Renwang network, which only determines the outcome and has nothing to do with life or death. The other is to challenge in reality, which means winning or losing, and deciding whether to live or die. But even if there is a challenge card, the challenger in Renwang network cannot refuse the challenge. But if a challenge is initiated in the real world, it is a matter of life and safety, and the challenged can refuse. And after refusing, the challenge card will be regarded as used and disappear. It is also true that challenges in reality rarely and rarely arise. If someone else refuses, not only will the challenge fail, but even the challenge card will be gone. The loss outweighs the gain. At this time Tang Fei was stimulated by Lin Moyu's words, and was dazzled by anger for a while. Lin Moyu sighed in his heart, the big world is like a greenhouse. Children who grow up in a greenhouse are really fragile. Just being scolded for a sentence, I can't stand it. I really haven't suffered in life. After all, they are people who have lived for hundreds of years, so why is their psychological quality so poor? Tang Fei held the challenge card in his hand. I'll ask you if you dare. Lin Moyu looked indifferent. Why don't you dare? No matter how strong Tang Fei's combat power is, if he dies, he will use the field of law. Even so, he couldn't hurt himself. I have been invincible from the very beginning, so there is nothing I dare not. Tang Fei's killing intent boiled over, and he sneered, don't regret it. As he spoke, he activated the challenge card and the challenge card flew out of his hand, shining brightly in the starry sky. Tang Fei said coldly, I, Tang Fei, challenge Lin Moyu to reality. The challenge card shot out two beams of light in an instant, shining on Tang Fei and Lin Moyu at the same time. Lin Moyu also received a message from Renwang Network at this time, Tang Fei, the ninth level super god, is challenging you in reality, do you accept it? Lin Moyu immediately chose to accept. This was originally the result he wanted. Most of what he said was to stimulate Tang Fei on purpose. He also wanted to tell Tang Fei that sometimes, there was a price to be paid for overdoing things. The challenge card exploded in the starry sky, and then a ring appeared out of thin air. The arena is resplendent and resplendent, exactly the same as the arena in the Renwang arena. Is this... The law manifested? Lin Moyu felt the breath of law from the ring. The arena is transformed by laws, and needless to say, the source of the laws must be the human emperor network. The strength of Renwang's network is far beyond one's imagination. It is not a purely virtual world, it has the ability to affect reality. Seeing Lin Moyu in a daze, Tang Fei thought he was afraid, so he sneered, Do you know that you are afraid now? It's too late. Go to the ring, senior brother will teach you how to be a man. Tang Fei flew onto the ring first, and pointed at Gogu, signaling him to come up quickly. Lin Moyu got up and flew to the arena, and a shield immediately rose from the arena, covering the entire arena. Outsiders are not allowed to enter until the winner is determined. Everyone gathered around the arena, watching this real-life competition as if they were watching a play. It is rare to see a real-life competition with challenge cards. Pass by, not to be missed. Tang Fei sneered, don't worry, senior brother won't kill you, but senior brother will teach you an unforgettable lesson, let you understand how to behave in the future. Lin Moyu smiled faintly, it's okay for people to teach people, but it's fine for dogs to teach people. Tang Fei's anger soared, looking for death. In his hand, a thick-backed sword appeared. The law of the sword roared, and a burst of flames burst out. 
Lin Moyu recognized at a glance that the law controlled by Tang Fei was the law of fire, and the law of fire is also one of the laws with the most comprehensions. After all, flames can be seen everywhere, and there are naturally many people who understand them. Tang Fei is the ninth level of super god, and the control degree of the law has reached 9%. Compared with Lin Moyu, it is indeed much stronger. But Lin Moyu's law of immortality far exceeds the law of fire in terms of strength. What's more, Lin Moyu has also practiced the field of law, which shows that Lin Moyu has absolute control over the law. It was far from comparable to Tang Fei. The big knife was burning with raging flames, and the fire light shone on Tang Fei's face, let you taste the feeling of being burned by the flames. He suddenly slashed at Lin Moyu with a saber, and the saber energy swept the entire arena with law. The arena turned into a sea of flames, and Lin Moyu couldn't avoid it. Everyone outside the arena saw it inside. This knife alone basically secured Tang Fei's victory. The ninth level of the super god is completely incomparable to the sixth level of the super god. If you go down with this knife, you will be seriously injured if you don't die. Although Tang Fei is not a very good person, his strength is still acceptable. His rule is already close to 10% of the cars that can reach the car god. He should have broken through a long time ago, it is said that he is trying to cultivate the field of law, so he has been holding back for a long time. In the words of everyone, Lin Moyu is obviously bound to lose. Suddenly, a puff of gray gas emerged from the flames. The flames were extinguished when they met the gray gas. The gray gas carries a strong breath of death, corrupting all substances in the world, including the law of fire. Lin Moyu emerged from the flames, unscathed, and above his head, a strange gray and white star was slowly rotating. With a buzzing sound, the strange stars burst into dazzling light and swept across the entire arena. In an instant, all the flames in the arena were extinguished and disappeared without a trace. Even the flame on the big knife in Tang Fei's hand was suppressed to a thin layer. Under Lin Moyu's law field, Tang Fei's fire law was completely suppressed, and he couldn't move at all. Even if the control of the law exceeds that of Lin Moyu, it will not help. The law of the field is known as the strongest method among the super gods, and it has its own unreasonable places. There was bean-sized sweat on Tang Fei's forehead, and a look of fear appeared in his eyes, the field of law, how is it possible, how can you cultivate the field of law? Lin Moyu shook his head slightly, nothing is impossible, if you think it is impossible, it can only be said that you have too little experience. As he spoke, he pointed his finger at Tang Fei, and a cloud of gray air enveloped Tang Fei instantly. Tang Fei immediately let out a terrifying scream, and fell to the ground without any resistance. Gray gas contains a strong power of death, which can corrode everything. Tang Fei's body, laws, and even soul can be corroded. The power of death enveloped Tang Fei, cutting Tang Fei like countless small knives. Tang Fei kept screaming, making people feel creepy. When everyone heard Tang Fei's screams, their expressions changed drastically. They never imagined that Lin Moyu's strength was so terrifying. The sixth level of super god has cultivated the field of law, which is a rare existence among super gods. Only then did they realize that Lin Moyu was not the so-called stunned young man. He is a real genius, a super genius who can leapfrog. Everything they thought before was wrong. Zero looking for flowers. Many people had a look of rejoicing. Luckily they didn't provoke Lin Moyu. Otherwise Tang Fei's fate might be his own fate. Tang Fei's flesh and blood were corroded, revealing his white bones. The law of immortality has invaded Tang Fei's soul world, and it seems that he is about to attack the soul. Tang Fei knew that he was finished, and this time he really showed up. Physical injuries are nothing and can be healed easily. Once the soul is damaged, even if it can survive, the future is bleak. But at this moment, Lin Moyu stopped, admit defeat. Tang Fei trembled all over, and said in a trembling voice, Aren't you going to kill me? Lin Moyu shook his head, It's no good to kill you. You just admit defeat. In the next hundred years, 10% of the points you get will belong to me. 
If you lose, you have to pay the price. Lin Moyu doesn't care whether he kills Tang Fei or not, and Lin Moyu doesn't care about the 10% point income. The key point is what Tang Fei said just now, he didn't want to kill Lin Moyu. It was precisely because of this sentence that he saved his own life. I surrender. Tang Fei recognized the reality, now he is shrouded in grey aura, and he is in the domain of Lin Moyu's law. It has become the meat on the chopping board. Whether it is shredded or chopped depends on Lin Moyu's mood, and he is at the mercy of others. Tang Fei personally admitted defeat, and Renwang Network immediately sent a message. Challenger Tang Fei, voluntarily admit defeat. After being judged by Renwang Network, there is no objection in the process of admitting defeat, and all the points of the challenger Tang Fei will belong to the challenged Lin Moyu. Challenger Tang Fei, 10% of all points earned through missions in the next 100 years will go to the challenged Lin Moyu. The challenge is over, the challenger Tang Fei and the challenged Lin Moyu, from now on, the two are settled. No provocation afterwards, no retaliation in any form. If found, punishment will be given. The challenge ended, and the arena disappeared in an instant. After winning, Lin Moyu got all the points of Tang Fei. No more, no less, exactly 3000 points. How poor. Lin Moyu knew that this guy must have used up all the points, only 3000 points left, so poor. Lin Moyu withdrew the power of death, and at the same time swayed a stream of white air. Bai Qi landed on Tang Fei with majestic vitality. Tang Fei was like a shower of rain. The wounds on his body healed at a speed visible to the naked eye, his flesh and blood were reborn, and he had recovered as Chu Ba in the blink of an eye. Dot. The law of death, the law of life. Tang Fei said in a daze, with a wry smile on his face, knowing that he was not wrong. Everyone saw this scene, and looked at Lin Moyu completely differently. As we all know, it is extremely difficult to master two opposing laws at the same time. Everyone knows that fire and water are incompatible. But once it succeeds, its power is also extremely powerful. Both the law of death and the law of life are the laws of the second echelon. If you can control the two laws at the same time, their power is comparable to the laws of the first echelon. In the eyes of others, Lin Moyu is not just a genius. How can someone who can control two opposing laws that belong to the second echelon and complete the field of laws be described as a genius? Facing such an opponent, it was impossible for Tang Fei to win. It's only because he has bad eyesight, because he provoked Lin Moyu. After the challenge is over, Lin Moyu goes to the teleportation array. This time no one dared to stop Lin Moyu, even those true gods took the initiative to make way for Lin Moyu. In their eyes, Lin Moyu's future is limitless. Even if he can beat Lin Moyu now, he will definitely be overtaken in the near future. A person like Lin Moyu, as long as he can live, God knows how far he can grow. After Lin Moyu left, someone suddenly realized something. Strange stars can help people understand the law of death and the law of life. I used to doubt it, and it seems that it is true. It's just that the laws on the stars are not obvious, so it should be difficult to comprehend. How can the laws of the second echelon be easy to comprehend, but no matter how difficult it is to comprehend, you must comprehend, try more, just in case there is a chance. Everyone flew towards the strange star. Tang Fei stayed alone in the starry sky, and no one paid attention to him. He also smiled wryly, this challenge not only ruined his fortune, but also in the next hundred years, 10% of his mission will belong to Lin Moyu. A hundred years of hard work has come to nothing, and it is really a lost wife and a broken army. Fortunately, my life was saved, as long as I was still alive, there was still hope. Tang Fei dare not hate Lin Moyu now, the future achievements of a person like Lin Moyu are beyond his imagination. This time I was also in a daze to do such a thing. Lin Moyu returned to Suzaku 98-1 and went straight to the mission center. At that time, he received the mission on the Suzaku 50 star, and after receiving the mission, he separated from Yu Qingxin and each did his own mission. When he came back, Lin Moyu chose the 98-1 star he was most familiar with. 
This time, there were no quest props to hand in. Lin Moyu chose to hand in the quest directly on the quest table. A reminder came from Renwang Network immediately. Excuse me, is there any believed information that needs to be submitted? Lin Moyu replied through consciousness, Hang. Please find the local task room, enter Renwang Network, and submit the corresponding information. Lin Moyu followed the mission prompts and randomly found a mission room in the mission center. After connecting to Renwang's network, he will appear outside Renwang's practice field in the next second. This is the position he left in Renwang network last time, and it was also here when he came back. The Renwang network and the real world are synchronized to some extent, but they are independent of each other in some places. Lin Moyu currently knows very little about Dashiji and Renwang network, and can only say that he has a superficial knowledge. He believes that there must be a reason for Renwang Network to do this. Less than two seconds after entering Renwang's network, a ray of light descended from the sky and enveloped him. Lin Moyu feels like he has entered an independent space. Please describe in detail the information you want to provide, and you can use any method. Lin Moyu felt that this task was a bit special, and it was different from the tasks he had done before. Lin Moyu said in a deep voice, let me give a demonstration. As he spoke, a gray light appeared on Lin Moyu's left hand, and a white light appeared on his right hand. The power of death and the power of life of the law of immortality appear at the same time. In Renwang network, the two laws are respectively recognized as the law of death and the law of life. Lin Moyu overlapped his left and right hands together. The two laws also merged with each other, forming a gray and white law. Please describe the information you want to submit in further detail. Obviously, Renwang Network did not recognize the law of immortality. Like those practitioners, it thought that Lin Moyu had controlled the two laws at the same time and fused them together. In Lin Moyu's personal information, it is also stated that Lin Moyu has both the law of death and the law of life. Lin Moyu held the gray-white air mass in his hand and explained, this is not the product of the combination of the law of death and the law of life, but another law, which I call the law of immortality. He looks like the law of death and the law of life, but they are actually different. As Lin Moyu's voice fell, a ray of light suddenly fell and shone on the lawful air mass in Lin Moyu's hand. It took a full minute for the light to disappear. Human Emperor Network sent another message. Please don't leave star 98 to 1 we will send someone to you for verification. After the information appeared, Lin Moyu's consciousness returned to his body and left the Renwang network. Lin Moyu was a little dazed, someone would come to him for verification, it was just a level 3 task, as for that. He pondered over various situations in Renwang's network, and gradually found a possibility. It is the real world that comes first, and Renjo network. The same is true for the sea of laws in the human sovereign's training ground. There are laws and stars in the real world, and then there are only the laws and stars in the human sovereign's training ground. That is to say, the things in Renwang's network can't be born out of nothing, they all need to be followed in the real world. So my law of immortality does not exist in Renwang's network, because it is not followed. It is precisely because of this that Renwang Network cannot verify the law of immortality, so it has to be verified in the real world. After thinking about it, Mo Yu probably figured out what was going on. Even if it's not completely right, it's more or less the same. Leaving the mission room, Lin Moyu walked out of the mission center and waited quietly. Renwang Network just asked him not to leave star 98 to 1, which means that the other party can find him 1.8. I don't know what kind of reward this mission will give. Lin Moyu thought in his heart that the basic reward of 1000 points must be available. He doesn't know how many extra rewards there are. Hey, brother Lin, are you back? Looking at the reputation, I saw Ren Cheng flying over. What a coincidence. Dot. Dot. Lin Moyu felt that this guy was staring at the mission center, just waiting for him to come back. Otherwise, he would be found after he came back for a while. Just came back not long ago. Lin Moyu said softly. Ren Chang said, it's good to be back, how's your mission doing? Lin Moyu said, the task is being handed in. 
Last time you said you had something to do with me, what's the matter? Ren Chang whispered, I have a multi-person task here. Normally, at least five or six people are needed to complete it. But with Brother Lin's strength, the two of us are enough. Lin Moyu looked at Ren Chang, who was a fifth-level super god, and this guy was clearly a second-level authority. I already have a third-level authority, and I can't do the second-level task. Ren Chang saw Lin Moyu's doubts, Brother Lin thinks that the authority is different, and they can't do tasks together, right? Don't worry, mine is a special mission, which was accidentally triggered by me during a mission. This task is a bit difficult and requires multiple people to complete, and it can be completed by up to 10 people. However, the more people there are, the less rewards each person gets. Normally, 5 to 7 people are more cost effective. But now with Brother Lin, the two of us are enough. Reward us with 3 or 7 points, how about I 3 and you 7? Seeing Ren Zhou patting his chest, Lin Moyu smiled and said, Sure, let me see what the task is. Okay, Ren Chang immediately sent the mission information to Lin Moyu through Ren Wang Network. But the sending failed, Ren Chang was slightly taken aback, Brother Lin, do you still have a mission? If a task is not completed, you cannot see the information of other tasks. Lin Moyu hummed, I'm handing in the task and I should be able to hand in soon. Ren Chang was a little puzzled, shouldn't you go to the mission center to hand in the mission? My task is a bit special and cannot be handed in in the task center. Special? Ren Chang couldn't figure out what tasks there would be that couldn't be handed in in the task center. Is it possible that tasks that cannot be completed in the mission center can be completed outside the mission center? Although he is only a second level authority, his family has inheritance, and he is not ignorant of the third level and fourth level authority. At least he didn't want to understand. Lin Moyu's soul suddenly moved, and he felt a huge breath coming. A smile appeared on the corner of the mouth, and they poured. Quote, Who's here? Ren Chang followed Lin Moyu's gaze and looked forward. The space ahead is slightly distorted, and several people have appeared in sight teleportation. Ren Chang was taken aback. Teleportation is something only a god can do. And he knew the person standing at the front, Daze. Dot. Dot. The three people behind Zhu Tian also exuded a terrifying aura, and they were all gods. Ren Chang was so frightened that he almost collapsed on the ground. Ren Chang trembled all over his body, his voice trembling with fright. Lin. Brother Lin. This this is the person you are waiting for? Lin Moyu smiled, go and wait for me inside, I'll be back in a while. Okay, okay, Ren Chang didn't want to stay any longer, and ran into the mission center as if fleeing. After entering the mission center, Ren Chang was still panting heavily. Facing these big men, the pressure is enormous. He also couldn't understand how Lin Moyu managed to be so calm. Lin Moyu came in front of Zhu Tian, Lin Moyu has met the domain master and all the seniors. Zhu Tian smiled and said, I didn't expect us to meet again so soon. Lin Moyu also smiled, I didn't expect that this mission verification would trouble you. Not only me, but also these old guys. Zhu Tian introduced the three people who came with him. The three are the star masters of the Suzaku O2, 3, and O5 galaxies respectively. Star master of Suzaku number. O2, Lu Changyu, Star Master of Suzaku Number. O3, Fang Leon, Star Master Suzaku No. O5, I Wish Hongyu. Zhu Hongyu is also the only generation practitioner among the three. The three of them are all seven level gods, and they are all the masters of the world. Lin Moyu saluted them again. The three of them also returned the gift at the same time, and Lu Changyu seemed very satisfied with Lin Moyu. Little friend Lin, you don't need to be too polite, I didn't expect that Xiaoyu Lin is also the master of the world. Zhu Tian was slightly taken aback, Xiaoyu Lin is the master of the world? Lu Chengyu nodded, the power of the world will not lie. Lin Moyu said modestly, I'm just the master of the small world, and I can't be compared with the seniors. Fang Lian shook his head, the master of the world is the master of the world, everyone is the same. 
When Zhu Tian learned that Lin Moyu was still the master of the world, he couldn't help admiring Lin Moyu a little more. Lin Moyu became more and more perfect in his mind, and he felt that perfection was a little unreal. Zhu Hongyu said lightly, let's get down to business. Zhu Tian nodded, let's go. With a big wave of his hand, Lin Moyu was surrounded by majestic power. The sky and the earth changed, and Lin Moyu came to the starry sky in an instant. In front of you is the grand and solemn temple of War God. Zhu Tian explained, the rules of verification need to be verified by the elders of the temple of War God. Just during this time, Luo Chenkin is on duty here, so he doesn't have to look for people everywhere. Lin Moyu knew that Luo Chenkin should be Luo Lao's name. Unexpectedly, he was still the elder of the Temple of War God. There is a master and twelve elders in the Temple of War God. The status of each elder is no worse than that of a domain master like Zhu Tian, and the same is true of his cultivation. The last time Mr. Luo left a deep impression on him, although Mr. Luo's eyes were kind, but Lin Moyu also felt unattainable. This may be the result of years of status. A group of people walked into the War God General, first saluted the statue of the God of War Xiao Zanshan, and continued to move forward. Xiao Zanshan is the hero who saved the human race from the fire and water. His deeds have been praised by the human race for hundreds of millions of years. For hundreds of millions of years, the Temple of War God has become a holy place in the hearts of the human race. When Lin Moyu read the materials, he also knew about Xiao Zanshan's deeds. This god of war is indeed remarkable. The rise of the human race at the most critical time, the stronger the more the war. Killed all races to collapse, stained the hands of all races with blood, and drove out all the alien races that invaded the human race. They even went back into the dens of other races and killed a few of them with their own hands. It has laid a solid foundation for the eternal foundation of the 973 important families. He is invincible and has no defeat in his life, so he really deserves the title of God of War. Zhu Tian said while walking, actually, in the history of the human race, there are many people who are similar to God of War, but they are very low-key. Lin Moyu agrees with Zhu Tian's words, the human race cannot rely on Xiao Zanshan alone, there must be countless sages who have followed suit. Only in this way can the human race become a real strong race in the big world. Luo Chenkin was still sitting in front of the star array as before, motionless like a statue. When Lin Moyu looked at him, it was still as if he saw a high mountain, boundless. Hearing the movement, Luo Chenkin opened his eyes, Zhu Laosan, what are you doing here? Zhu Tian said unhappily, of course I came to see you for something. You thought the old man was fine and would like to come see you old man. If you fart, let it go. You old guy, you really don't have the quality to speak. The two obviously knew each other very well and spoke very casually. Lu Chengyu, Fang Lian, wished the three of Hongyu to salute Luo Chengkin at the same time. I have met Elder Luo, and Elder Luo as well. Luo Chengkin smiled at the three of them and said hello. Although his attitude was still somewhat indifferent, it was much better than when he was facing Zhu Tian. But Lin Moyu thinks that the relationship between Luo Chenkin and Zhu Tian is really good. For Lu Chengyu and the other three, they were a little unfamiliar. Dot. 